we're all reluctant to change a pattern that has been working. So sometimes I think people think, you know, there's a, I mean, the whole four hour work day blah. blah. I mean, just shows you it's like, four hour what's work the week? I love yeah, that book. I'm just saying exactly. <laughs> but I'm just saying part of the productiveness of things. It's like mm -hmm. sometimes people think you have to burn it all day long. Like, and if people are having trouble with sleep, I always question how tired they are, like physically tired, because yeah. part of it is you have to be physically tired. Now, and I don't mean tired, because you can be tired and not sleep Yeah, easily. But if you're physically exhausted, very few people physically exhausted don't go timber. It just doesn't, mm -hmm. we're just not getting tired enough. Mm -hmm. That's the problem. People go, I have a sleep problem. I go, well, get more tired. Yeah. Like, do whatever you have to do to get, and that could mean that you might have to, you know, carry a bag of cement across the yard 30 times or what, whatever, what, yeah, whatever. I mean, yeah. there's ways, but just physically exhaust yourself. See, and I think we're not, I think we're so out of our biology that we're not physically exhausting. We can be mentally exhausted and then still kind of, but the body's not tired enough to go off. Yeah. Cause the body's got to go off too. Right. Well, the thing about uh, a lot of what you're saying is that you have, I, I'd say there has to be some uh, level of time awareness, right? And I think that that's one of the things is people not creating space, not creating the time. And it's something that you seem to do is like, if you're in pursuit of the optimum, you, you have to optimize your time, right? Cause you gotta make time to get tired, right? You gotta make time to get enough sleep. You gotta do some of these things. And why do you think people are, um, why do you think people struggle so bad with time? Well, because we invented it. <laughs> that's why we struggle. <laughs> I think, I think, it, I think that's a big piece of it. I think that if we were living off of uh, light and actually going the distance on the on, because we're still our biology, we're still our biology. No matter if we have tick, 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 we created this crazy system where mm -hmm. we're like, you know, it, it, it's, 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 you know, so we, we invented something and then it's, we're wondering why it's, you know, having the effect that it's having on yeah. us and why but, we, we don't have enough, even yeah. though we all have the same amount. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And so, and I, and again, I think it's a prioritization of things. What's important. I think we don't put enough value in our food. Yeah. First of all, like we don't like. We don't prioritize. We don't put enough prioritization in. You know, Gabby said something once uh, that I that I always appreciated, which is, you know, somebody was asking her about working out, and she goes, "Well, I never working out's not optional. It's not optional. Is brushing your teeth optional? Well, then you probably <laughs> there will be consequences. Yeah." You have decay. Um, so, you know, it, I think when you put things, it's not optional. Like me not sleeping, it's not optional. Me not eating good is not optional. Me not doing a physical presence is not optional. These aren't options. I, I don't, I mean, and I can say I'm blessed to be able to have the opportunity, but do I have the opportunity because I've prioritized it and made it important? Hard for, hard to have, hard to have something that you didn't prioritize be a priority. I just, it just you got to, I mean, you got you to gotta be like, hey, this is important. I'm going to get this sleep. I'm going to eat this food. I'm going to physically do this. And when I can't, sometimes I can't. It's the way it is. And but uh, and I pay for that. But, you, you know, you. Um, yeah, I think I think, you know, I mean, just our, our lack of appreciation for needing good nutrition for sleep is like we just look at sleep like it's an inconvenience. Like, yeah. I, I, I got to sleep. Like that's our attitude. Oh, I gotta go to sleep.